In the past year, LiDAR has never been too far away from the headlines. Photonics companies around the world are taking this light-based technology out of the labs to commercialize. However, most of the mainstream news concentrate on the legislations around autonomous vehicles or business models. You need to attend annual Driving Vision News Conference on LiDAR to take part in the meaningful, in-depth technology discussion. This year, I attended one in Germany, in Wiesbaden, and had an opportunity to preview some of the technologies way before we see them installed in cars or trucks. This year, the theme of the meeting was LiDAR. Is 2024 the year it breaks out? We saw exclusive presentations from both OEMs and Tier 1 companies like Stellantis, Torque Robotics, Hesai, Valio, Microvision, Septon and Soslab. So let's examine some of the takeaways. First, conference organizer Divian. In one year, so many things happened. One, uh, one takeaway is uh, about the integration, so integration of LiDAR in the car. Last year we, we talked about integration, but there was no solution. This year you have plenty of solutions. You, you have the top roof solution, you have the windshield solution, you have the, as well the headlamp or lighting system integration solution. So even too many solutions. Even if uh, everybody would like to have it in, behind the windshield, some uh, performance degradation, but uh, relatively limited. I think the, there is a way to, to integrate the, the LiDAR in the car, and I think it's, it's, a, it's a big uh, progress uh, this year. Uh, the second topic is the volume. So we, as you see, uh, now companies uh, operating in China coming with uh, high volume uh, opportunities. So companies like Hezai are talking about uh, more than uh, half a million uh, sensors uh, volume for next year. So it's, uh, it's a different world, it's new. And this is a good sign that LiDAR can sell. So, and they are even profitable on uh, Hezai. So, yeah, congratulations to Hezai. Optica was invited to share relevant insights gathered from our corporate members in the new LiDAR Landscape Technology Survey for 2024. Cost, complexity and reliability continue to stand out as the current concerns. There are three trends to watch. The LiDAR market is on a remarkable upswing. China is leading the charge, having secured the large market share, a trend confirmed by both Hesai and Yol market research. Europe is expected to follow the suit as LiDAR becomes key to national strategies. Because we still need to reduce the number of accidents to near zero as fast as possible. So frankly, humans are terrible drivers. They're really bad. In fact, if you look at the, the number of miles per incident that a human drives, they're very bad. So the idea is to get these self-driving vehicles out to be better than humans. That's the goal. As the market develops, there is a huge pressure on manufacturers for scalable designs and systems. That includes a compelling shift towards photonic integration. Currently, detectors and sources perform well as standalone, but the future calls for seamless integration to align with mass production requirements. So, integration emerges as a potential game-changer, becoming key to cost reductions. Those involved in FMCW LiDAR believe this will ultimately prove to be the winning architecture. Well, this show has been a poster child for advertising the value propositions of exactly what we do. Um, many, many of the presentations here spoke about the problems with the existing time of flight systems and the advantages of FMCW LiDAR. So everyone has presented a clear roadmap for their technology components, which is incredibly helpful as a component integrator. To find out what end users can buy now, I wandered around the exhibition passing by the Jable stand. This division, based in Vienna, had demos to show us. Well, my main takeaways are the LiDAR market is taking off, which is good with all the development we have seen in the past years. In the moment, most of the growth is happening in, in China with the um, Chinese OEMs being very creative and very fast in bringing in this new technology. Um, and the growth in the Western countries, um, in the US market, and the European market will follow in the next years. And especially for us of Jerry Optics um, in Jena, it's a good point to, to do the design support that we are capable of. Um, to support the innovators, support the LiDAR system makers in 
getting the design on the street, supporting the alignment process, testing process, and then getting to manufacturing. What we here have is our 270 degree flash time of flight sensing system. It's meant for indoor application. So the range is up to 20 meter indoor usage. Um, we have a wax illumination on the bottom and the sensor on top. So the sensor is directed in this, in this way. Receiving light is coming through this fisheye lens in the top, then going down to the sensor and then creating this uh, circular shaped image. We will then defold it so that you can have the 270 degree depth information from around the sensor. And the application is as a detection system on autonomous moving robots. So only, you need only two of these sensors situated at the front right and rear left edge. And then you have a 360 degree view around the whole vehicle. There were other companies busy with solutions for system integration. And apart from Zeus Micro Optics, we also bumped into the Ficon Tech. So takeaways from, our, from this show is uh, mainly that it has a great focus on LiDAR. Um, this uh, corresponds very nice to our offerings in terms of packaging, uh, photonic integrated circuit testing, um, as well as uh, assembly lines uh, for mechanical and optical assembly. And then together with our partner uh, Scramlux offering um, testing in order to save a major floor space and to deliver our customers a turnkey solution to produce their LiDAR. If you'd like more details about the LiDAR survey available to Optica Corporate members, then drop me a note directly. It was clear that for 2024 the focus will be on advanced driving assistance systems for cars. Look to track platooning for heavy good vehicles. The dream of the self-driving car still remains a long way off. It works fine on wide highways in California. It might become essential on logistic vehicles at large ports, but on the public roads of crowded, wintry, foggy Europe, we still need attentive drivers behind the wheel. LiDAR has potential to impact accident figures preventing collisions with unpredictable pedestrians. And for a tiny few who love driving, there's no need to change anything. But in the meantime, I will still need to get my driver license. <laughs>